Hello everyone, this is Destiny out here at County Line Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. Today we are checking out a 2022 Viking. This one here is the 17 BH Saga. So we have a bunkhouse. We are super tiny with this one, no slides whatsoever. This is the aluminum siding, wood construction. Whenever you see the wavy texture, that means you're on an aluminum sided camping camper. The smooth ones are going to be the fiberglass. Some great benefits to doing aluminum siding is this is really easy to replace in the event it does get damaged they come off in strips another great thing about the wood construction is the wood does help trap in heat as opposed to the aluminum frame which allows cool air to pass through it the wood's just going to insulate a touch better so those are some features why you would choose an aluminum sided camper over the fiberglass let's go through all the details so i can show you everything this viking has to offer so here is a good overview i love the colors that they have on this, the black and gray, just a, a nice sharp look. Um, a lot of times you just see all white campers, but this one has a little bit of design element to it. Let's go ahead and start right here at the very front and I can tell you some more details. All right, your unit will come with an LP tank. It's gonna sit right here on the front along with your battery. So you've got space to put that right here. You could also double up your batteries. This right here is your connection to your LP tank. Now this has a very large extended diamond plate front cap that goes all the way up over halfway to the front of the camper. This is really great. It's just a nice protectant to prevent the uh, rocks from dinging up the front of your cap right there. We are on the manual jack. Taking a look at this side here, as you can tell, we do not have a slide, keeping this super lightweight. There's a peek at our pass-through storage compartment, a very nice size. Check out that wood framing construction. Moving right over here, we have our city water connection and our fresh drain. This right here is going to allow you to fill up portable drinking water. So if you want to dry camp, you do have a tank for that. This right here is the hot exhaust for your water heater. We are, of course, on a single axle. You can get a good peek at the axles right here and the suspension. We're on a 30 amp connection. Right here's where you plug in your cable and your satellite. Right back here, we have our city outlet connections and your holding tanks, black tank and gray tank right here at the end of the unit. We are on the manual stabilizer jacks. Of course, you'll have four of them. Moving along to the back side of the unit, you will uh, get your spare tire included. You've got your bumper here. This is a great place to stash your uh, sewer drain hoses. Keeps them nice and clean. You just remove these end caps and we see a lot of people just shove them in there. It's the perfect size. You are prepped for a backup camera should you like to add one. It's already wired and set to go. Okay, moving along to the front side. As you can see, we have a large awning. It basically covers the whole length of the unit. We have a great LED light straight under there. Down here, we have your leash link. You can tether your pets with the built-in leash right there. Here's the hot exhaust for the furnace and we've got some outlets right over here. So you could plug up a television. Right here is your refrigerator. Now your awning here is the 12 volt power awning. And another great thing is this does have the adjustable arm. So in the event it begins to rain and you need to uh, tilt the awning to one side to allow the water to drain, you are able to do that. And this right here, we are prepped to add a solar in the event you would like to include a solar battery. It's already wired and set to go. Plug it up right there, mount it to the frame. And here's a look at our steps. These are just gonna fold up nicely right into the holding area right there for travel. Your door is on the friction hinge, so it's going to stay in place wherever you put it. There isn't a clip or anything you have to fight with. It is a nice, strong friction hinge. I also love that they thought to include the door underneath the awning, so that way, if it is raining, you can provide coverage over the front door. So now inside, I always like to do a quick overview so you can get an idea of the floor plan. Again, no slides in this unit, but you can tell definitely loads of space. Peek at our bunks and moving back to the bathroom. Okay, let's check out some features in detail. Okay, when you walk in, you do have our main bed right here. This is going to be a camper queen. I love the extra little headboard storage. We've got some cubbies right down here. 
your windows on both sides and they do have screens so you are able to open and close them let some breeze come through we have our accordion blinds on all of the windows here is your charging usb and outlets and right overhead look at this i love that they've put the doors uh, vertical as opposed to horizontal because now we can open them up like true cabinetry and get our uh, clothing out and they're nice and large check out this residential finish and style of these handles the gold i think is really sharp it complements the color scheme that they have with the vikings carrying the storage overhead from the dinette area this here is going to be a freestanding table it's got its legs folded up right under it what's really great is of course this is laid down so what you would be able to do is spread out the cushions and it creates another little sleeping bunk really love this vinyl finish on the fabric because they also have the zipper so not only is the vinyl easy to clean but you can remove the zippers from the cushions and give them a nice scrubbing we have another outlet here in a large window with the screen with that accordion shade as well lots of storage right overhead right here in our kitchen area we have a large gorgeous countertop lots of room to store the appliances i love the matte black finish on the uh, residential style faucet here's a look at our undermounted sink and we do have a little cover to provide more storage or more countertop space right here is our dometic fridge here's a look inside and some more cabinetry to store the snacks and weekend camping treats. We do have a two burner stove right here. You've got your hood and a microwave does come with this unit. So, so you will have your microwave included. Moving over here, I love this glass insert they have. And again, just the really pretty finishes of the gold details. And then look over here, we have even more storage very nice deep cabinetry right down here is your breaker box check out the vinyl flooring throughout the unit no carpet whatsoever and then moving over here look at our bunks so we have our twin bunks with their window and their own little usb charging ports right down there they also have their individual lights to be able to control whenever they are ready for lights out and under here we have some more storage to put the kiddos items moving back into the bathroom here's a look at our toilet and we have a tub so this is great if you've got little ones you actually have a true bathtub this one is going about up to my knees and i'm over five foot so that is a very deep tub and then we've got our skylight overhead and our vent to be able to open up and cool out the humidity and steam after a shower. I love the blank wall space. This gives you plenty of room to add little family photos or memorabilia uh, along your camping travels. Right here we are prepped for a TV, so it's all set to go. Get you a nice bracket, uh, adjustable bracket, and you can position that television to whatever angle. Taking a look over here, we have our control panel, our ability to check the tanks, the battery, and then of course your water heater and your water pump, and then your uh, awning and ceiling lights. We're on the Suburban AC, right here's our thermostat. And then right up here, we do have the manual controls. You can set it to high, cool, low, cool, heat, and air. This is the Coleman Mac. So that is a look at the 17 BH Saga. This one here is a great weekend camper, especially for some first timers. Not sure if camping's gonna be for you. You don't wanna break the bank getting something too big. This is the unit. Y'all check out countylinecampers.com to see all of our inventory. Come in and check out our Viking line. Super lightweight, super affordable, and they've got a lot of residential features so you get some bang for your buck. Come see us Monday through Saturday, nine to six.